Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Mukesh's Tech Space. If you are new here, I post video tutorials on AWS, LightCell, Azure, uh, WordPress hosting, and other easy to set up and use web hosting tools and services. I also post video tutorials on WordPress tips and tricks. So if you are interested in this type of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. So in this video, I will walk you through the process of setting up a separate AWS user for the LightCell console uh, with restricted permissions. Uh, this will be useful if you need to give access to someone other than yourself to maintain and manage a LightCell instance. Uh, if you need to have someone, let's say, manage your LightCell instance for you in the sense of being able to restart it log into SSH and perform some actions, then you might give your AWS credentials. That way they can access the same things you can, but you shouldn't really do that. Instead, you should set up a, sep uh, a specific user with only access to instances that you would need them to manage for you. So one thing to keep in mind that this is only giving them access to the LightCell console and the ability to manage the server in the sense of being able to um, connect to it via SSH, <clears throat> being able to manage it. So if you need them to open up firewall ports or remove firewall ports, um, if you need them to stop, reboot, or in any way update the server, then the, these permissions will give them access to do that. If you have a application that's running inside your server, for example, a WordPress, this will not give them access to the WordPress admin. That setup will have to be done within WordPress or within your specific application that you are running inside that server. This is only for them to manage the LightCell instances from the LightCell console. Um, what we're going to do in our tutorial is I, will, I have these two instances, we'll create a new user, and for example, I don't want them to manage this WordPress-1-2 instance. I only want them to manage this WordPress 1.1. So we will set up the policies to be very specific to be allow them to maintain and manage and make changes to the WordPress 1.1 instance. They can see the 1.2 instance, but they will not be able to perform any actions. They will get a permission denied error. So, uh, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so to get started, let's log into our LightCell dashboard where you have all the various uh, LightCell instances that you're running. Uh, for our tutorial here, I've set up two WordPress instances, WordPress 1.1 and WordPress 1.2. And for the purposes of our use case, what we want to do is give a, another user access to WordPress 1.1, but not 1.2. We want them to access uh, the SSH console, be able to manage the server, stop, reboot, uh, and do various operations and help us out for this server only, but not this server. Um, we don't want them to delete the server, by the way. So we will make sure that the permissions that we set do not give them the power to delete the instance. Uh, so to set this up, let's go ahead and move on to the AWS console. And so clicking on the AWS icon from the LightCell dashboard brings you to the AWS management console. Okay, and from the AWS Management Console in the Find Services, type IAM. And that will take you, clicking on that link, will take you to the Identity and Access Management Dashboard. So here, we will first set up a policy. Now, policies help you define uh, the level of permissions for the AWS resources that you want to give. So we will, there are a lot of um, AWS built-in policies and you can take a look at them. Um, but for our purposes for LightCell, we'll, we'll create a custom policy. So click on create custom policy or create policy. Um, then we will click on the JSON tab 
and we'll replace this script here. So I have the script already and I will have this as usual in the post on the website webhostingforbeginners.net. Um, so we'll copy this policy script and paste it. So from the top, what the first level of policy is doing, this portion right here, uh, this is giving access to uh, the all of the light cell Git operations. So this is mostly just read-only access to everything in light cell. Um, right now, at a minimum, that needs to be provided for all the resources, the entire light cell dashboard. Uh, the way the light cell console works, this is required at this point. Maybe in the future they will change this and you don't have to do uh, provide read-only access to everything. But at this point, you need this. Then the second uh, policy or permission that we want to do is we want to deny getting the instance access details for then that one instance that we don't want them to um, look at. So in our example, we had WordPress 1-2 and WordPress 1-1. So we don't want them access to 1-2. That's what we've said, right? So we need to put the specific instance um, at the ARN for the instance we do not want them to give access to. So we'll take this out and we'll put in the ARN for the uh, instance we don't want them access to. So to do this, um, you will need to access the AWS CLI and the LightCell APIs. Uh, in a couple of videos, um, a couple of weeks ago, I did a video to show you how to set up the AWS uh, CLI and LightCell uh, API configuration. So I'll link that in the description below and in the card above. So go check that out on how to set this up. But what you want to do is log in to the AWS CLI using a PowerShell window or a terminal if you are on a Linux or Mac. So what we will do is the command is AWS light cell. Um, I think it's get instance instances. It's not that. It is git dash instances. Okay. So AWS light cell git dash instances. So this will list out all the instances that you have set up for your AWS account. Um, and so part of the information that's returned back, one of them is the ARN. So you'll want to take this ARN. So this is for our WordPress 1-2 instance, and that's the one we want. So we'll highlight and copy that, and we'll paste that right here. So this is uh, telling the policy that, you know, give everyone access to the read-only for everything, but then apply this rule, which is do not give the get instance access details to this one specific instance. So we are denying for this one specific instance. Then further down, this is where we will provide the necessary permissions for that one instance. We do want them to uh, perform actions on. And these are the actions that we want them to have, which is put the instance public ports. So modify the perfect ports, start the instance, stop the instance, reboot the instance. Um, open instance public port uh, view as well as close and then a couple of other ones being able to create instance snapshots for example and then of course getting access to the console. So here I have this ARN instance but I will remove that because that was what I copied but we want the ARN for our other instance the WordPress 1-1. This is the instance we do want them to manage. So go back to your AWS CLI, and let's find that second instance. This is uh, WordPress 1-1. So we will highlight this ARN, copy that, and then put that in this slot right here. So once you have this configured, and you probably want to repeat this for other instances you want them to manage. Now, if you wanted them to manage all of the instances, you just want to give them the similar access to what you have, give them access to all the light cell instances, then you don't need any of this. You could just remove 
this part right here, because this gives them, this is what we're configuring for giving them access to a specific instance and denying them access to some other instances. So you'll want to um, remove this if you want them to access everything. And in that scenario, you'll want not only a asterisk by all the resources, you'll want to take out this get command. So you'll just remove this and say they have access to everything within a light cell to all the resources. And that just gives them a wide open access. That may be useful and that may be a use case that you want to do where you want to give um, maybe a consultant uh, sysadmin full access to everything. But in our example here, we're not going to do that. So once we have this configured, we'll hit review policy and then we'll give it a name. So you could give it whatever name that you, it makes sense for you. So we'll just say light cell custom policy and then hit create policy. Okay, so the next thing we will do is create a light cell group. Um, so click on groups, create a new group, and then just say light cell, and we can say sysadmin, uh, anything you want, but uh, that needs to be a unique group name. And then we'll hit, um, and then we'll attach a policy to the group. So the policy that we just created, uh, let's see, light cell, so search for that policy, oops. There we go. So light cell custom policy, check that. Next step, and then create the group. So now we have a group and we have within the group, we have a policy. Groups are good so that you can attach multiple policies to a single group. And then you, want, you can give the uh, user access or you can assign that group uh, to a user or multiple users. And so you're managing everything through a user then a group, and the group has a list of policies that are meant for that user. Um, so we have created our group. Let's go ahead and create our user. So let's add a user, and this is, let's give it example, sysadmin. And then we wanna select AWS console access. So click on that. You can have it auto-generate a password, and then require the password to be reset. So you always want to set this up this way, but for our tutorial, we'll uncheck this. And then click on next. And now we'll assign this user to the group light cell admin, light cell sysadmin. Next, tags, mostly for consolidation, um, organization, and just to be able to find users if you have a lot of users, lots of um, uh, set up in identity access management, then you can kind of organize everything using tags. Uh, but we won't do that. And we'll click create user. So now we have our policy that allows um, a user to access one instance, but not access the other instance. Uh, and then we created a group to keep that policy and tie that policy to the user. Now we will, um, and we need the password, so we will grab the password and I will just set it aside. And we'll hit close. So now we have a user called sysadmin. So I should be able to now go to, uh, let's see. Uh, let's open up a new window. have it open in privacy mode, incognito mode, and we will go to this URL, which is the unique URL for your light cell dashboard. Paste that. And that's your account ID. You will, um, this is the other user, so you'll log in as that other user sysadmin, and then the password that was set up. Click on sign in, and you'll see now that the user is able to sign in. So this is the information that you'll give to 
the uh, person that you made the user for. So that brings them to the AWS Management Console. And from here, they can look for Light Cell Service. And that will take them to the Light Cell Dashboard. They can pick their language, hit Save, and get started. So I'll create something later. And when they go to the home screen, they'll see the two instances that we have, WordPress 1-1 and the WordPress 1-2. Now we've already told them, for example, that, hey, you can manage this, but you can't manage this. So let's test that out. So if I click on, uh, let's say, uh, let's click on this one and let's do reboot. And do you want to reboot? Sure. And you saw that that allowed this user to reboot. But now let's come to the WordPress 1-2 they should not be able to reboot this because we've denied access to this one, right? So let's try to hit reboot. And this is a screen that they should be getting, which is uh, 403, not authorized. So it looks like you aren't authorized. So that's the screen that they should get. On the, going back to the light cell dashboard, if we click on delete, because we did say we don't want them to delete an instance because that will take down your site. So let's hit on delete and see if that allowed to do that. No, they're not allowed to do that on either of the instances or any instances that you have. Um, on WordPress 1-2, they shouldn't be able to even SSH into the LightCell um, SSH console that, for that instance. So you'll see that they'll just be kept at this screen connecting to the instance because we had that deny command or that deny permission, which denies them access to the light cell details, this will never show up. However, we do want them to manage the WordPress 1.1 instance. So we want them to be able, be able to access the light cell console. So if they click on this for the 1-1, you'll see that they are able to log in and perform any updates or whatever you want them to do here. So in this way, you can create users using the AWS console. You can give them the necessary permissions uh, just to do what they, you want them to do. Uh, as I mentioned before, you may want to create the second user and have them manage everything that's in AWS LightCell. In that case, your policy that we had would be very um, uh, Consolidated. There would only be a one single option to say allow everything. And uh, you know, I'll probably put that script in the post on AWS on the uh, web hosting for beginners.net uh, website uh, for this post for this video. So you can use that if you want, or you can use this script, which gives them access to just the necessary resources that you want them to access. Um, so I hope you found this useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please put them down in the comments below. I'll try my best to answer them. Um, as I mentioned already, all of the posts, everything about uh, the tutorials that we go through on this channel are now on the web hosting for beginners.net companion website. Please go ahead and check out that. I do have some links down in the description below to Amazon affiliates uh, for the gear that I use to create the videos. So if those uh, are of any interest to you, please consider using those links. Um, and uh, what else? So I think that's it for this video. Until the next video, take care.